Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 10 US aircraft carrier, the Midway, and I'm using these modules and commander skills. Hopefully this time I'll be slightly less potato than last time, and um, this time I'm actually playing on the live server, not the PTS, so it might end up being slightly more difficult. I'm still using 113, but this time I'm using the fighter HP module properly, like I should be using. So, I launched my uh, torpedo bombers first, then fighters, then dive bombers, but honestly, I feel like I should try to get my dive bombers first into the air, because as a midway, I want to strike big ships like battleships, and uh, what you should be doing with them is you should dive bomb them first, then torpedo bomb to follow up after they have used their damage control party, because an uncontrolled flooding does a lot more damage than one or two uncontrolled fires. I guess I, I don't know what the exact cutoff point is, but usually flooding is more dangerous if it's uncontrolled. Okay, because also flooding eats two damage control parties as well if the target doesn't die. So, um, because I am 113, well, I am focused on my strike and oh, I actually run into enemy torpedo bombers. So I will try to intercept them with my fighter squadron and try to strafe them. Uh, meanwhile, I'll try doing my dive bomber strike on the isolated Bismarck that's at the bottom corner. Uh, bottom right, left corner. And yeah, this strafe is gonna take all 12 of them. Excellent. And now I'll try to dive bomb this Bismarck, then follow up with my uh, torpedo bombers and... Uh... Oh, okay, enemy fighters actually came. So, I guess I'll have to bring my fighter again. Um, and hopefully try to strafe these Hakuryu fighters down. Um, I have a fairly good chance of this working. I'll do a slightly risky strafe, but I'm not quite certain if this is good or bad. Okay, it ended up going really, really well. I caught all the fighters easily. So, uh, I'm gonna bring my fighter here to interrupt this plane and then dive bomb this Bismarck to try to use their damage control party. Uh, remember, uh, I think a German... Yeah, the German damage control party lasts for 15 seconds, so... After I see that uh, he has used his damage control party, I should uh, wait for 15 seconds and then strike again. Also gonna recharge my uh, fighters and... Uh, hey, let's see. Yep, the Bismarck has used damage control party, so it should be more or less alright to strike now, because striking also takes time, you have to take that into account. And I'm uh, gonna die bomb and then torpedo bomb from the side. Honestly though, I don't quite know how um, much I need to all do all of this because this is gonna, the Bismarck is gonna take a billion damage from this because that's gonna be probably an uncontrolled flooding and an uncontrolled fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my god, that guy is so dead already. 10,000 HP, no chance of survival, so I'm not gonna use my uh, third dive bomber squadron to even try to follow up here. I'll drop it. I'll drop on the Shimakaza, I guess. Um, the thing is with hitting destroyers as a midway is that because you're die bomber focused, well, also I just realized I wasn't paying any attention to what uh, was happening to my ship and the enemy how could you actually die bombed me? And um, well, like I said, because you're die bomber focused, hitting destroyers is unlikely, or rather, it's luck. Uh, it might work out, it might not work out. You can't really predict that. Even if you do a very good manual drop, it'll still not work out well. Also, by the way, look, my fighters only landed and they are still recharging and the enemy torpedo bombers are already striking again. And this is why, basically, anti-air builds kind of fail at uh, defending their team fully. Because you don't get to recharge your planes fast enough. Also, the enemy uh, carrier definitely caught me off guard. I wasn't paying any attention. Um, had I been paying attention, I should have used my uh, defensive fire there, but I didn't. I guess it does mean that he's not going to do a follow-up strike on me pretty much ever, because I only lost a thousand HP from that. Oh, and one of the reasons why I like playing the midway. Um, also, I'm trying to land my planes before I start launching any. I want them all recharging. So, one of the reasons why I like the midway is that uh, as a midway, you're not focused on trying to strike destroyers. Because you're dive bomber focused and striking dive bombers is luck based rather than uh, skill based. 
and carriers don't get that many strikes actually, which means that you need to make every strike count. But if you strike destroyers, it's very easy for you to miss essentially all of it because uh, also these two battleships are isolated, so I'm going to try striking these. You see, um, if you miss, and it's easy to miss against destroyers, because if the destroyer actually has an idea and tries turning and all, doing all that stuff, you can easily miss and then end up doing no damage or maybe hitting like one torpedo. And that tends to not be good enough. Because you have to remember that carriers don't get that many strikes in a game. Like, this game will last some time, and I don't even get to do three full strikes in this game. My planes only land twice. Well, some of them. Some of them land three times, but some of them land only twice. Think about that. I only get three chances at strikes. And if I if I screw up uh, or the destroyer dodges uh, like a blow on uh, like a torpedo bomber strike, well, as a Hakuryu, you just threw that strike away. You're not going to do anything with it. So you need to make every single strike count, and striking destroyers, again, you might end up not being successful. And uh, honestly, you know, people will say, oh, oh, but a good carrier player is going to cross drop and make it work and all that stuff. But I've yet to meet a carrier player that can confidently claim that they will hit their strikes on destroyers. Pretty much none that I have met or talked to are willing to say that. All of them screw up in some way, and that's a pretty big screw up, because you don't get that many redos. So, this Friedrich is the next target, uh, I set him on fire obviously, and now I'm gonna do a follow up. Like, right now you see that I've done a lot of damage in this game, but I've, this is only a second strike, I'm gonna be at 170,000 damage in two strikes, but that's because they were successful. If both of these had missed, um, like say I had struck uh, destroyers, then I would be at zero damage. Or, you know, close to that. So it's it's a really big deal for, uh, in my opinion, for a carrier to strike destroyers. Often it works out because honestly carrier players, or rather destroyer players, generally aren't very good at dodging. And considering how poor the general carrier players seem to be as well in striking, it's not very surprising. Like today I uh, met a fairly decent carrier player and I easily dodged all of the shell, all of the torpedoes with my Fletcher. Like it was absolutely no sweat. So yeah, I feel that it's not the greatest idea. Um, it, it's definitely incredibly useful for trying to win the game. I definitely think that striking destroyers is the way to go if you want to win as hard as possible. Because destroyers seem to hold a lot more value than uh, low tier or isolated battleships. However, again, uh, because this game is not really incent doesn't incentivize winning as hard as it incentivizes well dealing damage or doing something. Like it's not about dealing raw damage but doing anything at all. And the problem with missing a carrier strike is that you get absolutely nothing out of it. If you strike a battleship and you screw up, you generally still tend to do some damage. But if you strike a destroyer and you screw up, that's it. There's nothing, you, you don't get anything out of it. Your result from that will be zero if you end up doing nothing at all. And I feel that for most carrier players, like if I feel this way, yes I'm not that great of a carrier player anymore, but if I feel this way, I imagine most carrier players don't feel that much better about trying to strike destroyers, or, you know, they're kinda not actually, um, you know, seeing the truth before their eyes, because obviously many people are gonna say, well, but I'm good enough, but then you look at the results and, well, they end up not being good enough. So this is why I like Midway, because you're intent on focusing battleships anyway, because of the dive bombers, and as a result, um, you probably aren't gonna see as much variance in uh, results as you're gonna see on uh, Hakuryu, because you're striking battleships that are more likely to be hit more consistently compared to, well, everything else.
So right now I'm not gonna wait until this guy puts out this fire. I'm gonna strike with torpedoes immediately because I believe it's a Bismarck and doesn't have enough HP. So that should be enough damage dealt to actually just kill it. And if, you know, he doesn't use it, then I can always follow up with my uh, torpedo bombers. So if you want to do a torpedo bomber strike, what you want to do is you want that to go at a slight angle. This angle is too much, but you want at a slight angle from behind. That increases the amount of torpedoes you're going to be able to hit on the target. And wow, this guy is so dead. Excellent. And um, like I said earlier, uh, the game's pretty much over. So, I haven't done three strikes yet. I have struck uh, three times with my torpedo bombers and one die bomber, and I've struck twice with my two die bombers. I've also used my fighters to try to strafe enemies, and uh, I've been fairly successful in that. One thing that I would really like to get better at as a carrier player is to use fighters. Like, this time it's alright because honestly, the enemy carrier isn't really doing anything with his fighters. Like, He's doing these kinds of predictable things that I can easily just deal with. But if it's like a better carrier player, like if you're playing against Reita or uh, Strangers, then the problem is that um, they actually use their fighters properly, and I would probably not look very good against them, at least if I played against Strangers, I didn't. So I'll try to strike this Kur first, maybe I can. Or the game might just end, because they only have two ships left, and we are taking to a thousand points very, very soon. And, like I said, I'm at 2.5 strikes this game so far, and I've done 216,000 damage. That's because all my strikes were successful. If, on these three occasions, they were not successful, then the result is essentially nothing. And, well, there goes the Kur first, I didn't get to strike this, so the only chance is the last destroyer, but because we are at almost a thousand points, well, a thousand points now. The game ended. So in the end, I managed to do 2.5 strikes in a 12 minute game. I managed to strike 2.5 times in a 12 minute game. Now, okay, let's say you do it slightly better, you strike slightly faster. That's 3 strikes in a 12 minute game. How many strikes are you, is a carrier even going to get total? Not that many, right? So they need to make every single strike count. They cannot... So that's why it's... Um, they cannot miss. And that's why it's important or to understand on people who argue against the power of carriers that um, it's not normal to expect carriers to miss completely. That is a huge waste by them. And well, 1800 base experience, 216,000 damage, 3 ships killed and I even killed 41 planes. The enemy Hakuryu got 7. And he was 233. Yes, he didn't have air supremacy, but... I was 113. He should have held the advantage, but he didn't. So here's the damage. Like I said, 91,000 to the Friedrich, 68 to the one Bismarck, 53 to the other Bismarck, and 3,000 to the Shimakaze. And then some plane kills. That's it. And honestly, one of the reasons why I was able to strike them so easily is because they were isolated. The reason why. The first Bismarck was isolated was because of the spawn. Yes, he didn't go in the right direction with his ship after spawning. But honestly, it was related to the spawn. Also, by the way, did you just see that? So I made a profit of 70,000 credits with premium for this kind of a result. Because I struck mostly lower tier ships, but still, carrier economy is not quite okay any Still, in other tier 10 ships like battleships or destroyers or cruisers, I make a lot of credits. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the... Oh, oh, also, if you liked this video, then like it. If you disliked it, then dislike it. And I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support. Martin Wolf, and I hope I see you guys next time.